everybody, I'm Mike Gannon from Full Service Aquatic. We are a koi pond, water garden, and water feature company based out of Summit, New Jersey. And I wanted to share with you guys my pond, my pond, my pond, my pond. I checked in with you a little bit earlier this season to show you at the beginning of springtime the condition of my pond, my pond, and now we're towards the end of the season. So it's late October now, it's a very different time of year than when we checked in during the spring and a whole season has gone by. The conditions are a lot different, leaves have not started fully coming down yet, definitely on the way to covering the ground. Actually had a really good season with the pond, no problems, everything did great and ran well. Fish did good, they were well behaved, good little fishies. Now it's kind of getting to that time of year where I'm looking at getting ready over the next few weeks to winterize the pond. But let's take a look at where we are now. They're still out and active. It's a great time of year to get out and enjoy your pond. It really is. You can extend the season and have a great time during the fall, even early winter, sitting out by the pond and relaxing. Hey guys, water quality this time of year is excellent look at the clarity of this water it's so nice during the height of the season it can be kind of dynamic you have days where maybe it seems a little cloudy or something like that algae most definitely is not an issue in this pond the water just stays really super crystal clear look at that ridiculous water clarity talk about being able to see right down to the bottom this is without any treatments. I'm not doing anything special. We're not catching this at any particular time. This is just kind of a random video I'm doing. So you can see average conditions in my pond. see the fish are real active compared to just a few weeks ago they're relatively slow moving even though they're out and about right now and the behavior of them changes from day to day within just a matter of weeks I can pretty much guarantee they're going to be hanging down on the bottom of the pond not swimming around not being very friendly like they typically are and it's that time of year where sometimes they eat, sometimes they don't, but the eating behavior has definitely changed, reflective of the time of year that we're dealing with where it can get really cold and also have beautiful days like this where it still seems like September. Let's see if they're still interested in eating. It's the food I'm using. Here we go. Definitely their appetite is not as ravenous as before. Now they take a little more time coming up to it. During the season, they'd be all over that, but they're still enjoying it. Oh yeah. If you do continue feeding this time of year, you wanna consider using a low temperature food because this time of year as water temperatures get lower, the fish metabolize the food differently. Feeding so. this time of year is kind of a tricky thing. You know, we get these days where it's really cold. You don't see them coming up. Sometimes the impulse is to be like, okay, well, that's it. The season's done. But then I kind of feel like as long as they're eating still, let them eat because they're still reserving fat stores for the winter months to help them get through. So even though there may be days where they're not eating, if I get this warm period before the real cold hits, before the real cold hits, I'll keep feeding them and let them get some more nutrition and more calories into them and hopefully keep those fat reserves kind of high. I think the biggest thing with feeding the fish this time of year is just be really careful with your portions and make sure they're really eating everything that's going in there. Otherwise it just creates nutrient levels in your pond and you can wind up with some algae issues, which nobody wants to have. How about some more guys? Plants are all still doing great. I got a banana plant, iris, garlic, horsetail reed, creeping jenny, all sorts of stuff still looking awesome. Up in the waterfall area, some more horsetail. I have golden club. It's getting a little wilted, but I have all sorts of other plants. They, they still look great, so I'm reluctant to cut them down just yet. Look at these plants. I can actually smell the society garlic, and my banana plant is still putting out new leaves of my plants. I always wait to cut them down. I, I don't like getting rid of them until I absolutely have to. The lily, Lily's looking a little spindly, not looking too happy this time of year, but the rest of the plants, you know, I'm gonna enjoy them as long as possible. But when I truly winterize the pond, I'll definitely cut these down. All these plants will get cut down. Tropicals will get removed completely, but the other plants get cut down and then next year they'll come back again. But I cut them down just so when they do freeze and uh, kind of mush over and get into the pond, they don't cause nutrient issues during the winter months. 
Here come the leaves. Obviously we can see leaves floating on the surface of the pond and you can have some really heavy days of leaf fall. You wanna make sure your skimmer does not get too clogged up. This is not so bad. I mean, I, I do need to clear it out, but you can see the leaves are collecting in there and that's something that should be taken out and checked more often. During the fall, I would say check your skimmer, possibly even daily until you get your netting put on. Even though I have a skimmer, you can still see there's leaf debris on the bottom of the pond. My pond, it's not that much. You know, a certain amount of the leaves are gonna go into the bottom of the pond. My pond, hopefully the majority are gonna go into the skimmer. The waterfall is looking quite lovely, sounding very nice. As lovely and nice as it is, there's some things you really need to be careful of this time of year as well. Waterfalls can sometimes represent some issues when you get leaf jams in there. Leaf jams can cause leak issues. So you have to be careful that kind of stuff and not let leaves really build up, especially in areas where you have these cascades where water can be directed out of where you want it to go. Be careful of that kind of stuff from time to time, clear leaves out of your waterfall area or just put netting over it during the time of year when the leaves are coming down. I'll be putting netting on this pond probably next week. I think the leaves just start to change colors so it's not like they're pouring down right now but give me another cold night or something like that and it's a whole different fall game here in the northeast and the leaves will start flying down. So I'll be covering the whole pond with netting stretching it tight over the top of this and the waterfall as well to really control the amount of leaves are getting into the pond and to lessen the amount of maintenance I need to do on my skimmer. I like using a couple different ways to de-ice the pond. A little redundancy is always a pretty good idea yeah, especially in my area in the Northeast, I'm in New Jersey, where we can get really seriously harsh conditions. So for me, that extra insurance is well worth it. When we're netting and winterizing a pond, we use bubblers, which are gonna act as de-icers. I have a few different bubblers set around the pond. So those are gonna act as de-icers. Really nice bubbling action. Bubbling activity keeps the ice from forming completely in the pond. I could have ice all around, but this whole area will remain open to allow for gases to escape like ammonia and oxygen to get in. And we also do floating de-icers in the pond as well. So thanks for checking out the pond with me, everybody, for this update at the end of the season. We're in late October. We'll be getting ready to winterize everything soon, but I'm holding on as long as I can because I just want to enjoy my pond as long as I can. So thanks for checking it out. I'm Mike Gannon from Full Service Aquatics. We are a Koi Pond Water Garden Water Feature Company based out of Summit, New Jersey. We serve all in New Jersey, and we'd be happy to talk to you about your project or your pond. My phone number is 908-277-6000. My website is Full serviceaquatics.com or loveyourpond.com is the easy one to remember and we'll see you next time. Peace everybody.